Hello everyone, Amir Sur here again. Stan, your host. I am here to talk about what's going on on Twitter according to the Gina Carano crap that's happening. I don't know if you're on Twitter. I have just got on Twitter a couple months ago so that I can keep in contact with all the Phantom Menace guys so I can uh, coordinate my uh, live streams better and all that stuff. But man, is Twitter accessible. Pretty much what happened was Gina Carano made fun of people for putting their bio, whatever, their fucking thing in their bios, you know, their little, what, what is it, their, after man, female, or whatever, nobody cares, but it, it, she's like, oh, it's funny, you know, whatever, she made a joke, but she's been attacked before, but the same kind of group of people, uh, in my descriptions, I will share a tweet, we'll have a copy to a tweet, uh, just hit that if you want to go see the tweet for yourself. Uh, this person laid out quite a few different tweets uh, they saved, um, according to all the, the just the boiling she's got, which is hilarious. The Phantom Menace has been accused constantly since the last day that we bullied female actresses off of social media. We don't like women, that we hate women, blah, 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 because we don't like Ray. And we like half the characters that were in the new Star Wars. And... The Mandalorian was the only decent sh Star Wars thing to come out since Disney bought Lucasfilm. That's it. That's literally all we got was a Mandalorian, which was decent. It has its problems. I'm not going to say it doesn't. I think Baby Yoda is going to be a huge crutch in that show. I think they they made the character, and now it's all about that character. Instead of being about the Mando, it's going to be all about Baby Yoda. Which I think Baby Yoda is fucking adorable. But I can see the problems they're going to have with the show if they have to get rid of Baby Yoda. And that's going to be a problem. Because I bet they did have a plan, but everybody loved them way more than they expected. And they're at the point where they have to just do anything to get to make money. So Disney is now completely invested in the show. Gina Carano, as you know, plays one of the female characters who helps them. How to do. She's one of the best characters out in man. She's actually the best female written character Disney Star Wars has ever produced. Ever. Since they bought Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy, she is the only character I actually care about. The only female character. I think she was really done. Well, she's you know, she's a Republican Special Forces. Uh, but she didn't really like how the Republic was treating, you know, how it became she was like protecting dignitaries and sort of fighting the empire anymore. And so she kind of just became a mercenary in a way. Uh, her real life, she, the, the Gina Carano in real life is a MMA fighter. She looks the part. She's, you know, she's built like a, a fighter would. You believe her in the story. There's no like wokeness to her. She is funny. She's fun to watch. She's fucking hot as hell. I mean, I'm married, but. I'm sorry, she's hot. My wife can say Johnny Depp is hot. She likes Johnny Depp. I'm seeing Carano's pretty hot. Um, but, you know, it's just funny how they attack her or they, she's transphobic or she hates gay people. We see these constantly, these little fucking idiots on Twitter like, well, she blocked me because I'm gay. You know, she probably blocked you because you fucking an asshole and you've been attacking her and she's like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to care, block me. And she probably blockchain some guys. I don't know if I've ever been blocked. I might have a couple times. I don't know. I've silenced a couple of people. I've never really blocked anyone. I have silenced a couple, especially like CNN and those fucking medias. I don't want to hear anything from them, so fuck off. Uh, you know, CBS, I had to silence because I was so tired of them fucking pushing that shit Star Trek onto me. That Star Trek day and all that crap. That was fucking worthless. But anyways... Uh, Gia Carano, she's a talented actress. She does a really good job. They're trying to get her fired, which is fucking ridiculous. They want to get rid of her. It was funny. For years, they attacked us for being sexist and how we, you know, drove these bullied these females because we don't like women. Well, we don't like shitty written women. They finally have a good written woman and they try to get rid of her. Why? Power and control. There's a group who use politics right now, mostly on the left who are using groups of people 
as a sledgehammer against anyone who ever disagrees with him. Ever. I'm if they're gay, you can do no wrong, pretty much. If you say, hey, you know, I don't agree with you, and you're like, oh my god, he doesn't agree with me because he's gay, because he hates gays. No, I don't hate gays. I don't give a shit who you fuck when you're at home. Don't care. Don't give two craps who you sleep with. Period. I don't care. I don't care if you want to dress like a lady. Whatever. Just don't force me to accept it as reality. I'm sorry. I just it's part of my belief that's not it's not reality. It's fine. We can agree. We can disagree. We cannot. Uh, I have no problem with trans people. I don't. I, you know, I'll say hi to you. I'll say I'll treat you like a hu like any other human being I treat, unless you piss me off, and then I'm gonna fuck you up like you would fuck anyone else. Well, so that's just how life is. You like people. You don't like people. I have no problem with any of that crap. All that hatred. People can hate people if they want to hate people. But I despise using your whatever to attack people like oh my god he doesn't like me because I don't like you know whatever I don't I don't, I don't get it this whole you know, victim fucking mythology you know where if I'm a victim or I believe that somewhere in my history I was victimized I am Viking Irish Scottish and so many other I had uh, my Viking blood had slaves my, I, you know, Scottish blood were slaves, and throughout history, everybody was a slave to everybody. How about we just fucking move on from 200 years ago? I'm sorry, but it's time that you uh, kind of get over yourself. It's time we move on. That shit's over, except in certain Muslim countries. Sorry to say it, but it's there. It's still going on. If you have that much problem with human rights violations, stop supporting China. And most Muslim countries, because they still have slavery and they still abuse uh, human humans. That's just the truth of it, and they got to figure it out. And unfortunately, they're still stuck. People want to become victims because, for some reason, it gives them power over other people. And they're using it. They use this as a a bludgeon against anybody that doesn't fit in their box. That is why they're turning against Gina. Gina Carano is just an outspoken. She likes to laugh. She likes to make jokes. She gets on Twitter and she tries to offend people. It's fine. There's no crime against offending people. I could offend somebody for walking across the street and somebody could get mad. How dare you walk across the street over here? You can walk across at the sidewalks. There's no traffic. Just fucking walk across. <laughs> Those standard traffic, by the way. Fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, it just, I just think it's hilarious that they claim that we were this way. I've never bullied, um, any of the, uh, what was her name, uh, Kelly Marie Tran or something like that. I don't even care. She was just one character in a movie that was a really terrible movie, whatever. You know, I don't bully Brie Larson. Yeah, I think she needs to be more realistic on her YouTube channel, but that's it. I'm not bullying. I'm not saying she can't have her platform and she should be removed. See, I don't, we don't do that here in the Phantom Menace. We believe everybody deserves to have their voice heard. We believe that nobody should be silenced for any reason. I don't give a shit if you are a you know, thing from bad person from Germany. Go get your platform. You're an idiot. You know, please shout out your stupidity fucking reasons so the world can see how dumb you are. Same with anybody who's racist against black people. You really hate people because the color of your skin's a little bit different than yours, then you, just, you need help. You know, you can. You might not like culture. I don't like the Chinese government. Doesn't mean I hate the Chinese people. I think their government's fucking corrupt as shit. So is part of ours. You know, the CIA especially. <laughs> I don't need to get shot, you know. <laughs> but people expect there. I just don't get it. Why can't we just go back to just wanting to our escapism, wanting our entertainment? Stop fucking trying to cancel people. This cancel culture has to end. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I can boycott some, but I'm not going to call for a boycott. 
Because I believe you should spend your money how you believe you should spend your money, not how I think you should. I, should, I will never demand that you spend your money a certain way unless you're trying to buy my stuff. So please, buy my merchandise. <laughs> Just kidding. Buy if you feel like it. If you don't, hey, good on you. Uh, it's just whatever, you know. But yeah, it's all over Twitter. Dude, she's constantly getting attacked, being constantly people say, I'm lesbian and she blocked me, or I'm gay and she blocked me. I'm she tagged me because I'm trans because she's transphobic. And thank you, Jade, who is a Fandom Menace member who follows the Fandom Menace member. She is a tr trans person on the that follows a lot of the Phantom Menace, we have no problem with you. We welcome you. We welcome other people from other mindsets to broaden our own. You know, that's a problem right now in our country is nobody wants to be broadened anymore. They want to be stuck in their box. Do not dare question my beliefs or you shall be destroyed. And they'll use whatever means necessary to silence the other side and I yeah there is a lot more problems on the left than there is on the right but there's still problems on the right and I'm a middle person I hate politics I hate politicians with a fucking passion I could never do it because uh, yeah people would die and I'd become ruler of the earth but you know <laughs> no I wouldn't want to be ruler of the earth fuck that humanity is too fucking dumb for that shit um uh, just And thank you, Jade, for defending her. You know, she came out and she said, you know what? She never said anything against anyone. She hasn't blocked her. She hasn't attacked her. So, uh, you know, unless we see something literally from Gina that says, you know, F these kind of people because they're all stupid, then I go like, yeah, that was a dumb idea. You know, just like the fucking people in Star Wars Lucasfilm right now who constantly attack the fandom. If you're white and you're straight, you're this fucking Satan now. Which just doesn't make any sense. Because most white straight people have no care about gay people. Actually, we kind of prefer more gay guys because uh, we get more ladies. But when lesbians happen, it kind of sucks. Because I've had that boat. I've been in that, sh that ship where I'm like at a bar, hot looking lady. We're getting to know each other. We're laughing. We're having fun. And then I'm like, hey, you want to go hang out? She's like, oh, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, <laughs> I'm okay with that. You know, was your uh, lover by? No, damn it. <laughs> We've all been in those situations. I'm sure there are women out there who thought this nice guy, really nice, she's kind of hot. She's hitting on him. He's kind of not really doing anything back. And she's like, oh, he's playing hard to get. And it turns out he's gay. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> We're both in the same boat. And I'm no problem. I had gay docs in the military. I've said this before. The greatest dude I've ever known. Didn't know he was gay until literally the hottest lady I've ever seen hit on him. And he turned her away. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, she was a 10. He's like, oh, I'm gay. I'm like, well, then get to tell her to go out with me. <laughs> He's like, she's out of your league. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's fine. I'm married now. I have like four kid, uh, two step kids, two, two daughters, and I have a new, another kid. On. Hopefully it's a son. For God's sake, no more girls. <laughs> oh, but yes. Ah, but anyways, you know, Gina Carano sounds like a lovely lady. She, she's, I, this whole thing, they also, if we defend her, they're like, well, she's not going to sleep with you. I don't want her to sleep with me. She's hot, but I'm married and I have enough kids and enough problems of myself. I do not need cheating on my wire to become part of that problem ever. <laughs> just one of those guys. If I ever get divorced, I'm done, you know, because I've had enough. I've had enough women in my life. I've had five kids. I'm good. <laughs> and then at one point, you're just like, nope. I got my lady. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I'm happy with that. If she leaves me, fucking sucks. But... I'm done. I am fucking done. I've had enough stress with kids and my, my wife and family issues. And I'm busy as hell when I get home. I don't need another lady on the side. 
I don't, I don't understand that. Like people are like, oh, I want multiple wives. I'm like, dude, you want to turn your kitchen into, uh, I don't know, the view? No, no, you don't. You don't need four women around the, the table who slept with you or talking about how inaccurate you are. Yeah, you don't need that. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to gang up on you and your life is going to suck. <laughs> uh, they said, no, uh-uh, mm -mm. no thanks. Oh, oh, no. So yeah, I. it's hilarious. I think it's beyond funny that they're attacking a woman because she's strong. She's independent. She doesn't fucking bow to some box. She's not, they don't, they want to put her in a box. You're female, you're white, you're strong, you should be a bitch who hates men. Go get in your box. And she goes, nah, fuck you, I'm not in that box. Go to hell. And you're like, oh my god. Those are the people they hate the most. They hate, uh, like, I've, literally, I've shared this on Twitter, you know, BLM hates most black people. What they hate is they hate any black guy or black woman or black whatever who doesn't tell their mind. If you are a black cop, they hate you. If you're black conservative, they hate you. If you believe, you know, if you don't believe in the riots, they hate you. If you don't follow BLM's fucking messaging, they hate you. I think when does black lives actually matter? They don't like you if you get killed by big gang victims. How about that? How we care about the gang victims? Nope. The man. The only they only care about is the messaging. So when a white cop kills a black guy for any reason, self-defense or not, doesn't matter, that's the only people they care about because that is the way to get their message across. And if a guy who got shot by a cop comes out and doesn't die and says, you know what, I pulled a gun on a cop, they would turn on him like that. They'd, like, they'd shut him down, they would shut him up, they would try to walk away as quickly as possible and not let that guy's voice get out because he would destroy their narrative. Their narrative right now is white man, cop, bad. He is a devil, he must be destroyed because if they destroyed that, they destroyed the very protection of society. They could destroy the protection of society, they could control the mass, they already control the media, they control so much. If they get rid of police, if they get rid of guns get rid of our self-defense we're done we are wide open to whatever they want and then they get the people in power and they force their beliefs on everyone else and then you have to tow their line we are now living in china where the government controls all the companies all the businesses your freedom speeches they control the books they control the movies they control the tvs they control everything all forms of entertainment, all forms of media, all forms of information go through them. And only what they accept will you get. That is what their goal is. And their goal is not right. I don't know about you, but uh, I wouldn't even want a right person or any person on any side solely in power. Completely in charge. Absolutely. Because you know it's going to go way bad. We need to have not just two parties, but we need multiple people with multiple different versions and discuss different aspects of how to change things for the better for everyone. Because if we don't, we lose that conversation, which we have completely right now, because media are totally bought out by the fucking one side party line right now. And it is obvious that they do not care about the American people. It's all about a narrative. What narrative can they spin? to control the people. Not to defend the people, but to control them. And unfortunately, I believe that some government forces are behind that, and not the ones on the right. Sad, it is. I, I think our country is getting to a point where we're almost to the boiling point, and if something doesn't change, if we can't open and discuss things, if we're gonna demonize one side or the other, we're all going to be there. and I'm protecting the most corrupt political hacks in history. It's hilarious. These people don't care about you. I don't understand why they're, these people literally, I've seen it on Twitter, where I'm like, they're like, they attack Trump. I'm like, okay, you could attack Trump, but then they use media talking points to attack Trump. I'm like, you know that it's been debunked. I'm like, come on, use a, st stop watching media. If you don't like tr Trump because you don't like his skin, 
because you think he has a bad tan. Okay, whatever. Who cares? That's like the most superficial thing I got. I feel like, like hating a black guy because he's black. Trump just has orange skin because he's kind of weird. Oh well, he's got weird hair. Fuck, I don't care. I don't care about that stuff. What I care is policies. How can he better off the American people? All I care about. American people above all else. Military under that. And then jobs, security, that comes all with the people. And then foreign relations should come third. That's for me, third. Uh, because we need a president who cares more about home than he does overseas. And then whatever. Uh, that's my belief. Uh, people go above everybody else though. Military second because the military's job is to protect the people. And having a strong military can do that. Anyways, but that's not my point. I just, I know it's a longer, not a long video, I'm sorry, but this shit's gotta fucking stop, man. But it's the same people who attacked us for hitting Daisy Ridley's Ray. I don't hate Daisy Ridley. I don't. I've always said that. I've never attacked her on Twitter or Kelly Marie Tran. I don't, I don't care about the, the, the person. It's the characters, and it's not their fault the characters were terribly written. Gina Carano has written very well character. Her, um, I can't remember the name of the character right in the second on the top of my head, but it was way better than Ray. Ray was horribly overpowered. She didn't struggle almost at all. A little bit of struggle you could tell was just thrown in there because people complained that she wasn't struggling. And it's like, we can see right through it. If you're going to write something, you have to write it genuine. If you write it because you're responding to someone's complaints, is you're like, well, this is just, Ray has training, see? We put in the third movie. Why'd you put that in there? Well, you said she had no training, so we put it in there. I'm like, in the first movie, you should have put that in there. Or at least the second one. <laughs> kind of followed, you know, Star Wars, the original series. You know how Luke, in the first one, was like way underdeveloped. He was just got his butt kicked. And no idea, really. You know, he kind of could use a blaster, but he barely could use a lightsaber. Obi-Wan gets killed. In the second movie, he goes to trains with Yoda. He spends months training with Yoda. It doesn't really show that in the movie, but you kind of understand him. Time has passed while well, he's been there. I mean, he's learning a lot. Now he's becoming a Jedi Knight. And then he finally becomes a full blown Jedi in the third movie when he drops the lightsaber. That's when he becomes a Jedi. He doesn't become a Jedi until then. Until he throws down the lightsaber and says, I won't kill you. I won't try to strike down my father. That's when he becomes a true Jedi. That's the whole point of the trilogy. And then when the first three movies came out, the prequels, it, it told the full story of the rise, the fall, and the redemption of, of uh, Vader, or Anakin. That's what George Lucas wanted. He wanted the rise, the fall, and the redemption story. And he did a great job doing it. Um, yeah, the prequels had some issues, but the storytelling was fantastic. No problem with the story whatsoever. I really, 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 really loved it. Yes, yeah, some of the characters were a little bit off, but other than that, it was great. So, let's get back to that. Alright? Thank you all for coming. Please sub, share, like, and I hope I earned your, your subscription today. Be safe, be healthy, be good to each other, and see you next time. Bye.